Hello and welcome, everybody! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to another 2021 Final Fantasy Randomizer Chaos's Comedy Tour. Well, we got ourselves a round of 16 matchup. This is game two between Lord Fizzlebeef and Rock Solid. Lord Fizzlebeef does have that one game advantage. As we are the Woo and Wheels production crew, I am Dang Wu, and my helper today, or my awesome partner today, Danny3883. Danny, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Really excited. The first match between these two was really was really well run by both runners. It was close race. This one, I'm I'm look, I'm excited for. I'm looking at this party and like, oh boy, this is gonna be a race. But yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. I think we're we're like I think we're in for a heck of a race tonight with these two, and that was before we saw what the party was. Oh, absolutely here. We're gonna be getting started here in about... Eh, about 20 Maybe. seconds, I would say, that uh, they're gonna go live over here. Uh, as you can see on the top side of the bar where it says Woo and Wheels, there's also the blursing and curses that the, the classes have. I will go over them as we kind of go through the race here, since we're about to get started, but... As I just said that, we are underway, so... Both runners practically in sync as they go into white magic here. Um... Wall, ever important, gives us the battle ribbon, lit to zap. Danny, you're just so nice. Letting him have zap like that. You know... I really like that spell. It doesn't have the greatest accuracy, but nothing resisted, so early on, like, zap, it's pretty good. And let two's okay, but overall, it's not too bad white magic. Plus, we had wall and heal two, which isn't super fantastic, but it's at least something the white mage can do. Absolutely, and Lord Fizzlebeef's already gone, says I'm going to Temple of Fiends, Rock Solid's right behind it, so... Rock Solid's going to take a little safer approach here, gain a level here before heading to Temple of Fiends. Looks like imps don't have much. So, as Lord Fizzlebeef goes into Temple of Fiends here to check the chests, uh, how the draft happened today? Well, Lord Fizzlebeef went first, said speed and power, I want a black mage. Rock Solid came back with a thief and a white mage. Lord Fizzlebeef says, well... I like black mages, so let's go with another one, because why not? Who needs HP? Apparently not these two. Yeah, so, the reason why, for anybody out there that's wondering why I said, who needs HP, well, the thief already doesn't have a good HP growth, and it's got minus 10 vitality. And it looks like we just picked up the ship, and what was that? Uh, we got the key from the king, and we got the ship from Sarah. Oh, so a lot of early checks here. This is really good for this party. Um, the thief needs a weapon. Especially with that plus 40 s strength. That thief actually is going to hit very hard. And with it having the, um, the increased hit percentage growth, it's going to be really nice later on, even into the end game too. I see Fizzle, he came out after getting his ship and his key, he came out, did a little shopping and stuff in town. You'll see that he saved there in town before checking these boxes in Canary Castle. Normally, it'd be fine. Just run and check your boxes and go on about the mood on your merry way. That is not something you're going to see our runners do tonight because in these flags, for those who haven't seen already, there we go. We've got monsters in boxes. That's right, folks. 40 boxes in the game right now have surprise fights in them. You don't know which boxes they are, and you don't know what's in them. So even the checks that you think might be free, normally you could just run in, check them, and be fine. That is not the case now. You're going to see people saving before they go into Canaria. You're going to see people going in and saving before they go to Dwarf Cave to check boxes. Anywhere it's a free box, they're still going to save because they don't want to wipe. Oh, such a drastic difference. Lord Fizzlebeef only got two. Rock Solid pulls six enemies here. They instantly take out the Black Mage. 
The seafood party platter has trance. Oh, the sea the seafloor is gonna be so much fun. Thanks, Danny. I think Rock Salad's paralyzed by fear about what's gonna be happening later on in the game. Possibly. That that's like seeing a small glimpse into your future and it feels kinda of bad. So the bottle in this case, Danny, is important because, mm -hmm. well, in the round of 16, towns are sh shuffled. So the only one that's not shuffled is the Canaria, which is, you know, where Rock Solid is and where Lord Fizzlebeef is at. But where Lord Fizzlebeef is going right now is Provoca, but, okay, ironically, it, it is Provoca. Okay, it just had to show me up here. It's like the game's trying to make a liar out of his dang woo. I know, right? It is Shuffled Towns, I promise you, for everybody out there. You were, you were giving such a lovely description of, like, the flags, and the game's like, nah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was really comical. Thank you, Lord Fizzlebeef and Danny Trolling Seed. Really appreciate it. So, we get the canal. Hey, we have access to get out of the inner sea here, so that's... So this is good and bad news. The good news is... That means Ice Cave, which is Incentive, and Marsh Cave, which is Incentive, along with the Sages, well, definitely Ice Cave and Marsh will not have the Canal or the Ship, because those two only spawn in the Inner Sea. So this helps them in that they can now either make a trip to one of them without any repercussions, really. The downside, however, is now we have a lot of choices. We have Ordeals, we have Waterfall, we have Ice Cave, we have Marsh. A lot of choices. Oh, look, it's cake. You know what, Danny? You're all right in my book. Yeah, I thought you might change your mind about this seed when you saw that. <laughs> cake is best spell. So all of these options, Danny, where are you heading, in your opinion? Are you looking for towns? Are you going to go diving since we got, you know, lit... Lit three in our level two magic. Play before I want to head out of inner seas. Maybe check out and see what's there. Like you said, having the ship in the canal early gives you a lot of options of where you can go. But I still think finding out what towns are which is important early on. And even though we have options, there's still a very good possibility that things that you know we might need might still be in places like Mars or Ice. So if you have enough to get through those places early on, I mean, it's not always a bad idea to go ahead and check those. And while we were doing that, we found Melmond in the Elfland area, which actually had some really good magic. We had, unfortunately, life and life two at the same level, but both of those in Melmond. We have Nuke there. Not where you want to see Nuke, and definitely not in the spot you want to see Nuke, because that was in our third slot, which means those Black Mages will learn it, but they're not learning it until class change. Yeah, I mean, it. that's one thing, um, as you said, I mean, Ruse in level 2 here, I know I'm getting off topic, but, uh, so this party wants to promote. A thief does not like to be a thief. It has no armor, it has nothing. Can't equip, like, any weapons. You want to get that ninja. So, it's okay, but it's not... I, I don't think it's not as detrimental compared to if it was Black Belt already come. Just because a Black Belt doesn't want to promote. Mm -hmm. So, um... But as you said, though, I mean, it's very unfortunate still because at level 12, we can use Nuke if we were able to. You know, if it was in one of those other slots, we can learn it. But because it's not, we have to wait. Till airship and having tail. Yeah. Like this northwest check by Lord Fizzlebeef here. Uh, metal slimes. We have zap. It's like a thirty. It's like a twenty to thirty percent chance to hit. Or in this case, fifty. In this case, level. fifty. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. You know, you know what? It's fine. You know what? I just made up that number just because I wanted to sound cool. You know, it's fine. I mean, I'll, honestly, I I couldn't tell you what the actual number is, but it worked alright there. 
Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it's definitely not 50% like what he got, but you know what? We take that luck, okay? We take it. That's early levels, and I love it. Rock Solid's... I think he's... Rock Solid's gonna be doing the Marsh play here. He doesn't have Warp or Exit, so he's gonna dive down, hope that maybe it's on the top side of Marsh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he parked there, which actually is pretty smart. It's a bit closer to the... Merge, merge interest, at least I think it is from the Elfland area, so he can park there and walk straight down. So Gaia is in Vanilla Lafane. Oxal decides to take the long way around. Cat Claw plus one. We got our end game weapon, Danny. Yep. And we are going to get our key item here because we got the bottle early on, which means from Canary Lock, which means we can turn that in. Yep, absolutely. Now, interesting here for Rock Salad. Now, so one of the things with the thief is at least um, I say in this case is, is we're going to end up having to grind that thief just because of the fact that it's got the minus 10 vitality, and we're going to need as much HP as possible. So I kind of like this play. You go down maybe to Marsh, just gain levels on your casters here. I know it's not the greatest experience, but these are the ones that are going to carry you at this point. The Thief isn't going to do much. Except for run, I guess, which is kind of important. <laughs> A little bit. Eh. It can be. It's a useful skill. Ah. And we got Zap. And there's the herb from the kindly old king who's not very kind. No, and we we are doing all the fetch quests. Oh, well, Rock Salad's gonna go bottom first? No. Okay. Look, no, he can't be going bottom. The one good thing for Lord Fizzlebeef is he's still in the area, he'll probably do Marsh anyways, since he's in the area, you know, by a proximity. Although, that's me saying it, Danny, you were taught by Lord Fizzlebeef. Never mind, he's going there. To, I was about to agree with you. He's in the area, it's there, he has that, plus the, the herb turn in now. So you called it before I could agree with it, but he just proved it's both right, so. I will take it. Good job. Good job, Fizzle. You made us, <laughs> making us look smart, and we appreciate it. Yes, especially after you made me look bad twice in a row already. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Silence Touch, that's always fun. That's not in the vanilla game. That is with our randomized touch attacks. Uh, randomized touch attacks also gives, uh, changes things like the death touch, which is no longer non-elemental. It is now actually death element. So pro rings will protect you, ribbons will protect you also. Kinda neat. Big big chunk of money. That's <laughs> real nice to see this early. It's not often you just pull like twenty thousand gold out of a box. Now this is the downside here, as you're kinda seeing from Rock Solid. Kinda something I pointed out is is without that thief, we have no run chance. The black mages do okay, but they're not a thief. Both runners, neither finding the item in the top of Mars, but are like, we're carrying out this money. <laughs> I don't blame them. Nah, I do. I don't either. That That's a nice starter fund for magic and anything else you may run into you want to need. Alright, is it going to be in the top right corner? There's a chest in the top right corner. Almost every runner last locations it. Ooh, perilous. And, I, and These I'm are great. telling you... And maybe it was just me, but it's always, I always go in order starting going down, and I swear more times than not, it is always in the top right box, and I always find it last. Oh, absolutely. Those Perilous are probably the best encounter Rock Solid could have found with his, uh, his class comp right now. 
They're easy to... Okay. So now... Well, hello. Okay, the paralyzing touch really kind of ruins this, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um, but... And it looks like it's just tanky enough where it's gonna take one or two shots. Yeah, t two or threes and it went down, so it's not too bad. But yeah, stun touch on that's a little unfortunate. I would almost want to take more. See, now that he found it so quickly, maybe I'll go back for like one or two more. But that's such a tough call. Mm -hmm. Because you want your... Other than... Oh, sorry. I was gonna say, other than the fact that it, it was hitting, it didn't... I mean, we didn't see anything out of it. So I could see, like, maybe taking a couple of fights just for, like, a, just a little extra HP, like, leaving out of here, but... Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, but... I mean, I totally understand the leaving part, too, because you want... You need cast of something to get out, but you still have zap. You still have lit too. As long as nothing, as long as nothing casts anything, that silver bracelet should protect you pretty well. So we'll see what Lord Fizzlebeef does here. Rock Solid decided to leave, which is totally understandable. Um, with the paralyzing touch, I. It'll be interesting to see what Lord Fizzlebeef does here. Because he is the veteran. Rock Solid is more of the newcomer. But Rock Solid, though, is his one solid... <laughs> a Rock Solid competitor. That's right. I did it, Danny. I don't... <laughs> hey. The, the name of the spring tournament is the Chaos Comedy Tour. If y'all don't want bad jokes, you came to the wrong place. <laughs> Thank you for your support, Wheels. I appreciate you. You got it. I got your back. Always. Yeah, yo. <laughs> they don't call us woo and wheels for nothing. That's right. <laughs> so, I guess kind of what we should talk about here is Lord Fist. Lord okay, so the Opal Shield is the one thing Rock Solid didn't check. That gives potentially early extra money for Lord Fizzlebeef. Could be beneficial, let's say. If a key item happens to be found that Lord Fizzlebeef is able to buy now. But both runners have decided or opted out of grinding the eye and are running out. Nobody likes Marsh, except for me. <laughs> Thank you, Caleb. It's a couple of people who do. But not as many who do as those who don't. Right. But as you saw there though, Rock Solid not able to get out as quick not able to run away as quick i think he got a couple bad encounters where gargoyles were casting slow but you know lord fizzlebeef was able to get the item runs away uses the thief and i mean we're pretty much the same uh rock solid's got to do a couple checks real quick and then he'll be tied up with lord fizzlebeef but all in all we're pretty even here Bridge boss hype. And say we get a cube from the prince. So okay. not helpful at the moment, but it is something we need to finish out the game. That that helps out Rock Solid of sorts, just because he hasn't done that yet. And there's the loot turn in, so that doesn't really help or hurt anything. But we got Marsh done, it was required, so that's a plus. Pro ring? Uh oh. Monster. Ooh! Zap him! Zap him! Oh. Or cast light. Cast li Litning. Lightning. Lightning. Oh, Yell it louder next time. I don't think he <laughs> hurts you. So, Iron Golds don't resist the lightning spells. So, you can technically get away with it. Um, but you gotta hope that the Iron Golds don't roll high. It would have been an interesting play for Rock Solid if you can get away with it. He would have gotten more levels on his mages. His mages would have looked a whole lot better. Yeah. 
But, once again, understandable why he doesn't, because it's a risk. Yeah. Although, I, I did agree with you yelling to zap them, because if I see them and I have it and I have nothing else, and I'm trying to take that, that's absolutely what I use. I've taken down a, a goal a few times in my days with zap. Hooray! Could it have been because of your co-op partner, Spell Zap, teaching you the ways of the Zap? I mean, I have learned a lot from him. He's real, real good at this game. <laughs> he is real, real good. He is real good. Mm -hmm. Wait, I should never have admitted to that. Alright, let's see here. Lord Fizzlebeast looking at it. He's contemplating. There it is. And, oh, okay, we're... What a shot! Ooh. That's okay. Okay, so they have over 310. Okay, Nuke oh, is wow. down. We're tr still trying anyway. That top one should go down. Oh no. Okay. Alright, both of them go down. Oh. It's, it's unfortunate that we didn't get all those levels on the, you know, spread out amongst the party. However, even just getting them on those two, like, that's that's helpful. It um, just needs more cast on that, that one black mage, because, well, we don't have a whole lot on that white mage that makes it super useful yet. But it does have access to life 2 now. It is level 12. Mm -hmm. It can learn that tier 5 magic. So now it has life 2. Now if he goes diving down in ordeals, he's got access to, access to it. Mm -hmm. So this is good. And it looks like Rock Solid's gonna do the uh, the fetch chain that Lord Fizzlebeef does, in which he'll go down until he gets the uh, cube. Yeah, Fizzle's taking a trip to the port. It looks like he's going to pick up, yeah, ha just some heals and stuff here, and then I'm sure he's gonna take a run back to the party member store and pick up the two we lost. Ah, just spend the 1,000 yep. gold house and cast life too, it's fine. A perfect, perfectly useful reason, or perfectly good reason to use it. Fine. See, look, he did it anyways. Uh, did he pick up life two already? I hope so. I know he sold it, but I don't know if he got it because I don't know if he had money for it. Because he did when he did Melman and he looked there first. I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, the second time, remember he went back though. Yeah. Not. True. I'm pretty sure you got know. it. Okay, well that's good. At least, All that, right, at least that's what I'm going with. Yep, and Fizzle finds out what Rock Solid already told us that we've got Lufane, which is doing this no good until we find a slab. Lupa? I mean, if you go to talk to him, well, that's what they're going to tell you. If we find slab, we have mm -hmm. access to Melman and we have access to Lufane. So that's a turn in. Now the only mm -hmm. thing we haven't seen is Onrak, which is a required dungeon. So mm -hmm. if it's not here in Gaia, or in if it's not in the original Onrak location, that means a, the floater is required. Yep. We actually had a race the other day, which was the first time I had ever seen where we were in go mode item-wise. Like we had all the items we needed to finish the game. But we still needed floater because Onrak was floater locked. Oh, well, these metal slimes have cremate. Absolutely, though. Oh, oh that was a big yeah. shot. All we right. didn't see that earlier. That's that's rough. Well, he didn't. I don't think he saved after doing the herb turn in. Oh, Quadex oh, gets him out, no. and then he runs into wizards. Oh no! Okay, that feels bad. But at least now we have information. I don't know if he's. Did he save after doing the crown turn in? Did he have the herb? I hope so. I I hope so, because it looks like he's going to go turn it in. Alright, uh, we got a floater. We have floater required. Onrak is Crescent Lake. It is a turn in, though. This is where the sages hang out. This is also where Danny and Spellzap hang out, also, as, as the Crescent Lake party planners. I was about to say, we plan parties here. That's right. It's a retirement home. Mm -hmm. I see Edge hanging out there. Ooh. 
Fade is very cheap for 5,000, so the White Mage pretty useful once it gets to level uh, 20. Or, I'm sorry, 16. The White Mage at level 16 will be able to use it. And there's the Ruby, so we can turn that in. That's exciting. It's nice that it gives us access to Sarda, but right now that's really far out of the way and probably feels kind of bad. <laughs> you know what? I'm almost feeling I'd rather do that <laughs> than walk my happy butt all the way through Waterfall and then walk my happy butt out of Waterfall. Yeah, doing Waterfall without Warp or Exit just doesn't feel good, ever. <laughs> If I'm not gonna lie. It w I went for a while playing Seeds where I almost always had it, and the first time I didn't have it in a while, I, I got lost coming out of Waterfall. Because <laughs> I hadn't walked out of there in so long. Expert's available. That's not bad. But it's not Nuke. It is not. Sorry, Rock sorry, Salad. Rock salad. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry to disappoint you, but Nuke is not available. Nope. Only grown-ups can, can cast Nuke. Gotta wait till you come back. So the one good thing, one bad thing, I guess you can kind of say is we've done a lot of... I mean, if you look at the items, we've already found a lot of key items here. That means we're getting... 5% per key item extra, which means once we go into Waterfall, once we go into Sea Shrine, once we go into Mirage and the Floating Castle, we're going to be getting more experience, which is great. Because nothing feels worse than when you go into Mirage or Sea and you haven't found any key items. Yeah. Now, interesting play here. Rock Solid's gonna check the caravan. Lord Fizzlebeef, I don't think did. He did. Oh, and he did. They, yeah, he he did the save, checked, and then reset out when he didn't see um, a vendor item here. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, vendor item we haven't seen it either. So that is in one of the two towns we have left. So it's either in Elfland or. I'll look at my notes so I don't get it wrong. So Elfland or I um Anrak. Yeah. So it's in one of those towns behind the floater. So if it so that could possibly be another reason why we need a floater. It just depends on because I mean it could just be something that leads to bonk or white shirt, which not required, but with this party you might actually really, really want. Monsters in the box, ambushing is a very terrifying thing. Thankfully, yes, Zombles have not casted it. For anybody that has just joined, my name is Dang Wu. I am Wu. That is Wheels, Danny3883. We are the Wu and Wheels commentary group, broadcast crew. We're bringing to you Game 2 of the 2021 Spring Tournament Chaos's Comedy Tour. Lord Fizzlebeef up one game with that shiny orb up against Rock Solid 84. It is a the veteran up against the newer player. And I'm going to say it again. Just because he's newer doesn't mean anything. He's still Rock Solid Runner. Uh, it, you know what? It feels great. You know, after hearing so many other commentary make those silly jokes. It felt great, Danny. You know? You get why they did it. Yeah, I do. It feels great. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so we've been on this fight on Fizzle's side for a while. Like a decent amount of experience out of there, but boy, that I fight was long. I was gonna say, I did my entire, like, the recap of this thing, and it's, you know, and he still wasn't done with it. Okay, so that adamant, at least to me, makes that ruby feel a little better. Because now you have two turn-ins you have to go in that direction for. Oh, exactly. It, yeah, it, it definitely, well, yeah, because we have ordeals still. We have ice cave. So what we can do is we can do adamant into ruby. And then if we have to go somewhere, we can do ice cave. 
honestly, I wouldn't be mad at leaving here, getting Onrak on the way, and then doing like the adamant to Ruby turnips, and then that way you don't have to come back through there. Plus, do doing ordeals is quicker on boat than it is by floater because you can just dock there at the river and take a little stroll around the corner. Oh yeah, the ordeals. Pl yeah, I mean you could definitely do ordeals. Ordeals is kind of rough though without warp. We all know how much of a time waste that can be. <laughs> but yeah. Unfortunately, we're not getting warp until we get floater, and that might who knows where that is right now. Oh, that I've... could be that could be in ordeals. It could be one of our turn-ins or in ice. We still have a lot of options of places that could be. Well, I found out why this uh this encounter took so long. Zombles have silence touch. Hooray! Oh. Well. That'll, That'll definitely slow you up. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Look, look, Fizzlebeef got a nice hero run to get out of Waterfall. And he's. Yeah, I. See, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't picked up where in the encounter table that hero run is, but there's a real long. Maybe it's the first run. So I was pretty long, unless he didn't hard reset. But there is a pretty good length run in there. Yeah, that looked like he ran at least halfway out of Waterfall, and then ran all the way down to his ship. Yeah, when he went into Waterfall, he made it through most of the Waterfall before he got an encounter. Yeah, I think it's definitely the third encounter, I think? Or after the second, or something like that? Yeah, I think it's near, I... at least near the beginning. Yeah, because I've seen both of them burn off a couple encounters. So we're doing our deals. We'll we'll get to see which one where it is on the encounter table in a second. Yeah, right. How many encounters will he burn? Stay tuned. Or he's okay, just okay, not going to burn anything burning. off. So maybe it is the first run off that that's really long. Uh, he didn't do a hard reset though. That was just a soft reset go. Oh, was it? Yeah. That's not the eye we're looking for. Nope. Rocksaw got his adamant. I'll be- I'm cur- Oh, wait. We're- Oh, going to Crescent. Not sure what we're going to Crescent for. What are we going- Oh, I think- Yeah. Maybe he didn't have- Yeah, he's got more money now. I wonder who walked to. I would pick up hold if I were him. This party, we might really need that walk to. Um... Well, Fizzle makes his way through ordeals. I'd be curious to see where Rock Solid heads. Like, will he like go ahead and knock ordeals off his his list of places to go, or will he do the turn-ins first? Okay, I think that was what three. Okay, maybe that was three. <laughs> yeah, Fizzle's not hard recently, but Rock Solid is there. Is a lot of encounters right there. Okay, now are we? Nope. Wow. There is a spot in that encounter table that is horrible. Let's... And Fizzle makes it through. Look, there's a reason why I told Greg Lee, I said, look, I don't hard reset, okay? Unless it's op completely obvious. Uh-uh. But Dang Wu does not hard reset, okay? I'm already confused. <laughs> even when I think, even if I play and I have it, like, a seed with an encounter, table that's really bad i'm i'm so like the we're hard resetting is so hard right into my brain that i do it even when i don't mean to <laughs> i mean hey it's, i like it you know all yeah, right so we've got route divergence so we're gonna see which one was the play that got us in the, okay so oh that bad man oh. is not what you want to see at all oh no 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 Oh, they're over 202 HP. We had to have ambushed them. Okay, well that was a good experience. Oh, all right. That's the reason why I took oh, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that's an encounter feels like because it gives you so much of experience. Hey, Andy gave us a little good chunk of money. So we 
got a rod. While Fizzle was doing that, Rock Solid turned in his item and he got the slab, which Melman and Lafayne are accessible, so we can do that and get that turned in. And Fizzle got getting the rod from Ordeals, which means either I think Sarda or Ice either have our floater or has what leads to our floater. Yeah, definitely we got yeah the 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 Lafayne turn in and then we have Ice Cave or Lap. Unless Sarda, so yeah, three opportunities. Oh, I hear no. this. Power oh. Bonk! I mean, Power Bonk is good. We, I mean, it's mm -hmm. not necessarily what we really needed with plus 40 strength and two black mages. Yeah. But, okay. Well, we haven't seen Temper yet, so it might be something we're going to be glad we have. True, very true. And we still have a few missing levels of magic. We haven't seen three or four in Elfland. And then we haven't seen um, seven in the um, Onrak or level eight. So if Temper, we haven't seen Temper or Fast. So fingers crossed they're both in Elfland. Ruby or the Titan Strove. Not bad equipment. Uh, if we can promote the. Ninja has a couple swords there. Ice sword. Sun sword ice. minus one. Yeah, that ice sword was plus two, so it gives us gives that ninja once promoted something to swing, which is something we have not found yet. Nope. But I think so we gotta get that translation. And then from the translation we're gonna turn in the Um Talk to Lofane people. If that doesn't give us the floater. Then we are going to... Well, you know what's funny is? Technically, it doesn't have to. Just what it could give us. The chime. And then we'd have to go through Mirage. Oh, oh. We'd have... You know what? If that, if that turns out to be what it is, I'm so glad you said that and not me. <laughs> I just realized... If that's the case yeah. and it ends up real bad, I'm just gonna be like, blame day. Uh, he said it, not me. Promise. Yeah, there's still a lot of options. So, Ice Cave, um, so we got the Slab, or, you know, the, we had the Lafayne turn in. That could be, like, White Shirt. Ice Cave could be the Chime, so that means we have access to three of the four Element Fiends. And then we know that Mirage, or the Floating Castle, has our floater because that's our only way into Onrak. And then uh, the shop item would probably be Oxale then at that point. And then the Sea Shrine would then have um, the tail. Which means both our runners are more than likely going to be digging for it because <laughs> we have no weapons. <laughs> And we need a promote to even equip anything, unless we find the Masa. Well, oh, oh, hey. Well, okay, there goes my plan. I was really hoping that Sea Shrine would have the tail, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm evil, but I'm evil. So... I'm not saying our runners are gonna think it, but they might. Alright, so... Danny, let's look at our runners here. Okay, we got Rock Salad that's kind of in the progression lead, right? At this point, mm -hmm. he's made his way, kind of caught up. I mean, it's not like Lord Fizzlebeef had a huge lead, but caught up in progression. Now, the only downside is Lord Fizzlebeef has higher levels, and I guess Rock Salad ha hasn't done ordeals, right? Yeah, he hasn't. So, technically, I mean, Fizzle's right behind him. So, I mean, if they're headed in the same direction, Rock Salt has a bit of a lead, but with levels and Fizzle has the knowledge, like, he's done ordeals, he has his rod, so he's a l I'd say he's still a little bit ahead, depending on, like, what Ice ends up having and, um, where Fizzle heads after this, because he's got more knowledge of where some things are. But it's still a very close race. Yeah. This is definitely either going to be the floater or the chime. We we have narrowed that down. We know it's 
either Chime or it's the Floater. And yeah, you're absolutely right. I, I, I completely forgot that Rock Solid changed it. There was a divergence. Lord Fizzbeef went up to our deals. Rock Solid decided to do the Adamant Eternin along with the Ruby yeah. Eternin. So very interesting, but Ordeals is required. That is the rod. The only way to get to Lich, we need it. So, Rock Solid has to go to Ordeals. I like how you saw him just kind of slow down walking past there, so he didn't slip. I'd uh, do that too. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful of, of those the banana peels. Banana peels. Yep. Now, Dragon Sword's interesting because that is a weapon that the thief can equip. It's one of the best swords that the thief can have. There's the chime. <laughs> so we are going to Mirage to get our our uh, floater. The floater is going to have um the lead to Onrek and our key item, which will lead us to our Oxio. Exactly. <laughs> So Rock Solid's actually, oh, instead of diving boy. down, is going to make the trip all the way back that way. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting. It's interesting, but I understand it. Um, just for the pure fact that we don't have to go through spike tiles. It is quicker to go the other way because we're technically going to be in the. Uh, Ice Cave 1, that entrance, for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And... Oh. oh! We found out that Rays have Frost, so... And we saw there that with Fizzle having these levels just a bit better, got through that, while it just completely wiped Rock's party. Mm. That feels better. Also... I'm 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 realizing how many dungeons that are made much easier with warp or exit that they are now <laughs> having to do without either, and I feel real bad. Look at Lord Fizzlebeef. Doesn't even check the spike tile first. Oh, he's Fizzle's one one of the very very few people I've ever like that I've seen that does the chest on the left first, and he always does. I mean, it was. It worked out fantastic. Ooh, Lord Fizzlebee finds the Agama. Now, we don't have a great way of taking it out here. Looks like it doesn't hit very hard, so... No, this doesn't. is a pretty good uh, ninja grind if it doesn't roll too high. Oh, I see. We put, what, three lit threes and a couple of swings into it. So I didn't catch quite how much was in it, but... Oh. We take those sorcerers. Generally, they're pretty easy to kill, even if they res uh, they're worth a good amount of experience. So, I would definitely take that as Lord Lord Fizzlebeef stealing. <laughs> Cloudy one enchant Episco demons. Yeah, they're not those in this one. I love how the names changed from like. The different uh, the remakes. Rock this time got his chime. He headed down through the drop. Okay, we're not checking boxes. We're just headed out. I thought he was checking the boxes too. I was like, wow, all of a sudden he got confidence. Yeah, I think he just realized that this was the shorter way out. Wow, Lord Fizzlebee's full clearing ice. Interesting. Brocade? I think that was a minus three. Not very good. Yeah, I think Fizzle realizes what he's up against, like, with this party. So we're we're looking for something better than that dragon or ice, or we're looking for a ribbon. Like, but, th this party needs help. Well, so one thing, I mean, the, the thief does have plus four. 40 strength. That is a fighter end game right there. Like, it's probably higher than what a fighter would get, you know, in the end game. That's a lot of s s strength that adds into a thief that has a better hit growth. 
Bang Lula will take your word for it because those are numbers that I don't know. <laughs> I say, I play this, but it doesn't mean I necessarily know what I'm playing very well. And, and Crab Cakes, I mean, yeah, the fighter needs a decent sword. I'm not saying it. I mean, we have a dragon sword, which we can use. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest, but, you know, you grind up for a while because you're going to have to anyways. I mean, this party comp has no health. Mm. They're literally glass cannon. I mean, they're literally <laughs> a breeze pops through and, you know... Yeah. You, your entire just party. Fall over. Yeah. There's one to finding not a whole whole lot on the way. More money than anything in a box with grams. Every time I just see something like that, it, 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 it's just funny. It's like it kind of reminds me, like, especially something like an imp or a grim, just something that just, just just seems ridiculous to be considered a monster in the box. Kind of more reminds me of like a kid's toy, like a jack in a box. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Rock Salad doing ordeals because he knows it's here, or Sky, and I don't blame him. If I hadn't done ordeals already, this would probably be the play I would make too because I don't think I'd want to go to Sky, especially not right now, not with like, like <laughs> looking at like the magic we have and. Yeah, it, it feels like we need help before we go there. Well, yeah, exactly, because <laughs> Rock Solid thought about taking... Wait, that's not the eye we wanted. But, um, so, yeah, so you go into Mirage, you go into the Floating Castle, a high-experience yielding location, right? But we have oh, no. Lit 2, Lit 3, Cake, and Zap. Okay, Lit 3 will do decently well on most enemies, except for the fact that it's not a Fire 3 against, you know, the vampires and the whiz vamps and stuff like that. You don't have, um, I'm trying to think of, like, all the different enemies, you know, like, if you run into Metal Slimes, you don't have the Fire 3 to be able to take them out. You're relying upon the Zap to take out these things. Chat asking what Fizzle is doing. Fizzle has forgotten where he parked his boat. There we go. I see. I was trying to distract the viewers on what Lord Fizzlebeef was trying to do because <laughs> I noticed he was having issues finding his boat. So I was trying. Yeah. I, I was trying to give a very uh, important lecture, and it didn't work out very well. Everybody got bored and noticed where Fizzle was going. <laughs> it's fine. He got there. We're good. Bad men? Salad's not gonna take it. They're actually not hitting too bad. One hit bad men's not bad at all. down because we need to go to the sky area but I'm wondering okay yeah we're going that way I wasn't sure ah uh, okay so we're headed to canary I saw fizzle check his menu and it looked like he needed a few things so we're gonna go park here by Matoya and go on a shopping trip and then we're gonna go to sky I was just about to say, but the bridge isn't there. I'm like, oh wait, it's not the round of 6432. Yeah. It's fine, we got our bridge back. All is good. <laughs> what was that about? Oh. Phil Collins asking, would you call them okay men? Yes, we do, with the fun percentage. Uh-huh. I mean, that's kind of what you say every time you run into them. Okay, man, really? Mm -hmm. As they just pound your poor light warriors into submission. Shuffling. Uh oh. These whiz bummies are no buying... bueno. Yeah. We're buying silver plus ones on Fizzle's side. We, we don't want to go in the sky unless we've got those, we've got heals, etc. 
This was a, a much needed shopping trip before we had this guy. So, rock solid. 67 heal potions. Potentially going to be evened up with Lord Fizzlebeef going into this? Possibly. It depends on where he goes directly after this. Because, like, as long as if he feels good about, like, the amount of heals and things that he has, he can he could go straight there. And, like, the silver bracelets and stuff that Fizzle just picked up, he already has. And it looks... Yep, that's where we're headed. Sandworms. Yeah, both runners gonna go in. Rock Solid's a little less HP. There's some Tyro. Gladly Tyke. Ooh, White Mage has hit level 16. Has access to that second highest damaging spell, Fade. Mm -hmm. Or as Fizzle calls it, Dollar Store Nuke. Pretty much. Although I guess yeah, it... that White Mage has three casts of that right now, which is gonna come real handy where we're going. Yeah, because I don't think Rock Solid's at that point yet. So this is a big advantage yeah. for Lord Fizzlebeef here. Yeah, Rock Solid's levels are not quite as high as Fizzle's. That's actually not a bad encounter. I was going to say, Sabertees and Medusas are pretty decent. I really like running into Medusas because they generally low, low, uh, roll low HP and they're worth a good amount of experience for how much effort they are. Grey Worms are not the encounter we wanted. <laughs> There's a T-Rex! Hey, hello there, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The good thing about taking encounters on this floor as long as you have houses is you can take all these fights while you're clearing boxes because you have to clear these boxes. Get a few levels on this floor and then walk out and save them before going right back in. I was going to take this grind here. He's going to do some T-Rex. Well, okay, bye, thief. Was gonna take that grind. <laughs> T Rex says no. Yeah, that T Rex said, Excuse me. Now, ironically, for anybody that doesn't know this, the T Rex actually has a very ridiculous high crit rate. It's like a, uh, a saber tooth tiger. Um, and especially with the randomizer, it can roll. Like to a 50% chance. It's really crazy. Dang, whoa, did you? It's like, you're like, you're just it's like, Dang says, Did you know that that T Rex has a really high crit rate? T Rex, yep, sure do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's what it does. But so that T Rex was actually really important for Roxanne because. Andy, you and I just talked about it a little bit ago when both runners were running to this place is Lord Fizzlebeef had the advantage with levels and having the fade access. Rock Solid does the grind. His White Mage has a, a two cast of it now. Now he's looking... getting levels here, yeah. Rock Solid's got those levels and a little a couple casts of fade. Fizzle's now in the 20s off of the fights that he's taking in here. Oh yeah, the Lord Fizzlebeast looking really good, and he's not gonna save the... I think he gained a couple levels there, I'm surprised he didn't save. You know, the cast a house, recharge, but he says no. It's speed and power, fast. Danny. Speed and power. Yep. Gotta go fast. Oh. Danny, I apologize. Speed and power, trademarked by Lord Fizzlebeast. I have to say that. <laughs> Or he's gonna, you know, he's gonna charge me. I think he's gonna there's grind. So many fizzle, there's so many fizzleisms that, like, if that were actually the case and he trademarked him, <laughs> we'd all owe fizzle money. <laughs> uh, the fighter wasn't horribly cursed. Um, it had, like, I think it had plus 10 hit percentage and plus 10 strength, but it had black mage growth with strength, I think. The thief was just a better option, I think, in general. 
Like, if you just hang in there with this, next time the little thing at the top of the, the layout flips over, you'll see. Because <laughs> it's there, promise. No, the well, the fighter one isn't there. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just the ones that were on the... Yeah. I thought about it, but there's just not enough room. Especially with two yeah, bonuses. Really yeah, two bonuses and two malices. Yeah. We were running out of room. <laughs> now it looks like... Because we're still taking fights, and like, I don't want them, like I said, the more... The more levels this party has, the better. You know, oh, if, he, well. if, if he had Zap, those vampires would have died sooner. <laughs> Alright, so we got the last one down. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna life to that thief. There we go. And we're walking all this out and saving before we head further in disguise. I like this play simply just because he's gotten, he's taken so many fights up to this point mm -hmm. that it would feel really bad, like, to, to somehow, like, lose these fights going through Sky. Like, I like this. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's smart. Oh, Roxal's gonna continue diving down here. Did, like, a little mini grind off of the, uh, T-Rex is after exiting because he picked up a house. Grabbed maybe another level or two. Could be interesting here. So both runners gotta go into Floating Castle. Lord Fizzlebee's got the level advantage. Rock Solid's, well, now, quote, in the lead here. But if he wipes here, I mean, this is gonna be massive for Lord Fizzlebee here. Because uh, he's keeping his levels now. He's he's done the yeah. the safer play. Ironically, the speed and power trademarked by Lord Fizzlebeef uh, went the safer route. Hey, you gotta go fast, but you, gotta, you also gotta be smart. Otherwise, it slows you down. And then you're no longer going fast. I'm not used to this, Danny. I don't know who this Lord Fizzlebeef guy is anymore. So, we... so far, I say on this floor, we've gotten a black shirt and a ribbon out of that room. <laughs> I mean, the black shirt's huge, by the way, because black mages get a whopping one MDEF per level. Mm. We might actually be able to resist a blizzard now. <laughs> <laughs> once, w once we can equip it, we can actually resist any ice spells. And we also resist any time spells, so... Well, we found a sword, but we can't use it. That feels bad. What was right, it? So we're gonna... Okay, I take that back. That black mage can swing an X-Cow. Oh, yeah! We got it! I like, I like, I like how he, he picked it up and then was like, wait, which one of these can use it? I mean... You remember, you know, you're like, I remember somebody can use an x cap <laughs> And he... And it's amazing that we can add that option where we can look at it. Yeah. Now, the downside is the Black Mage, I believe, gets minus hit percentage also? I didn't put that other minus in because I didn't think it was going to matter. Maybe it does Black now. To, to something else. But we got a ribbon, though. Mm-hmm. So the white mage able to protect us, and it's got the non-elemental fade charge. So our white mage is looking pretty good here. And rock solid because he didn't save, didn't have that house access, I should say. Um, has to run away from these very tasty encounters, manacores, slimes. They've teamed up to show us what's in here. They're just taking sides. Oh, did they? Yeah, they each took a side. Aww. They're being helpful, letting us know what's there. It doesn't help them out any. <laughs> but we'll know. Yeah. A little bit of inventory jiggling. 
Both of them run into uh, monsters in the box. Lord Fizzlebeef wins the lotto, gets nachos. Thinks about it, but then thinks better of it. Oh! Oh! Left side, best side. And then Fizzle going, you know what? I got my floater. I'm going back for that fight. I'm feeling good now. Look at that Excalibur wielding Whoa. ninja. Big damage, or black mage. Big damage. I actually think that Excalibur wielding black mage is going to do more. Hey, look at that. Two hits. Does more damage. Nuke swinging. I mean, so, another- oh, well, that slow's kinda gonna ruin that. Um, I was gonna say is, is yeah. the one cool thing about it is, is we can take these rock hole fights because we got these, you know, we have an Excalibur- Wow, those nightmares with thunder are terrible. But yeah, we have, you know, a ninja that's got a decent attack power, or de attack damage, and we got, you know, an Excal. We can save charges now. Good news for Rock Solid. Gonna continue checking all of S -S 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 Sky 2 here. We'll have the same information Lord Fizzlebeef has. The Rock Side gets his floater. Now he's already completely cleared this floor because while well, Fizzle was taking fights and such, Rock was running from a lot. He's going to three. He's checking the three boxes. Is he going to? Nope. <laughs> He's like, I'll check those last couple boxes and I'm out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really good play. Uh, I'm kind of surprised he didn't check maybe the top side or maybe the right side. I know the right side in Sky 3 is kind of a far fetch thing just because of how far away it is and we don't have warp. Um, but we don't really have an endgame weapon still. We can't equip the Excal on the ninja. And we only have one ribbon. Alright. What do we got? Red Hydras, those are very good experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Zap would actually work pretty... Okay, wait, wait. Alright, Danny. Okay. We're on Bridge of Destiny. Yes, we are. How are we killing Tiamat? Oh, we do have Power Bonk. I forgot, we did pick up the Power... Power Bonk is probably the biggest thing we could have found right now. Because we have nothing yeah. to kill Tiamat right now. I mean, we <laughs> have it. And we have... Oh, and a dragon one sword, that's a true. Dragon sword. Let's say we have the bonk, we have that dragon one sword. We do have a black mage that has a sword it can swing. Like, this this oh, is no. possibly doable. It just depends on how nice he is. Cremate, stop! No! Oh. Alright, so good news. At least the white mage, like, has that ribbon. And life, too. So, it's just... <laughs> Our hydras, please. Right, we're almost through this oh, fight on both sides. Alright. Alright, now we're through the fights on both sides. Lord Fizzlebeef does the the right hand check on Sky 3. You know, the big chest location here. Now, I think. I think Rock Solid needs a caster happy team out here. Cast light or wall on your on your thief. Cast wall on your thief, please. Because you don't want team at punching. Oh. Oh, he's gonna do the Excalibur instead. I like it. 
Yo, Excalibur. Oh no. It's an elusive it's an elusive dragon. It is not what it seems. And we don't have cure four, so we can't cure that. So it's like so it's a twenty-five percent chance every time TTTT has a chance to move. Or a, a chance for action. Twenty-five percent chance. Lord Fistbeef checking anything? No. No. So, rock salt. A decent amount of experience in those two boxes he took there. Oh, we don't want a punching Tiamat. We don't want a punching Tiamat. Come on, T T T T. We need you. Come on, thief. And the greed checks by Lord Fizzlebeef do not pay out. More power bonks. Dragon Sword. Two hits, 29. Uh oh, that's a fast the Tiamat. That is not what we wanted here. We're gonna have to power bonk at least once or twice more, unfortunately. Yeah, oh, two hits, 92? I mean, that's the downside of only being able to have two casts. Lord Fizzlebeef, left-hand side, doing the Bridge of Destiny. He's got to do the same thing. Going to try and take out Tiamat. There's three hits for 113, so much better damage. That's what we need. A little bit of casting, nothing too dangerous. Warmex found. Lord Fizzlebeef says, nah. -uh. Yeah, yeah, we ran. We were smart, and we ran. This is huge for both runners. Both runners. Progression is locked behind the floater. Both runners decided that we are going to take on Tiamat. And Tiamat is not playing nice. There's a big hit for Rock Solid. 384. Tiamat's got to be almost down here. There it is. Lights the first door for Rock Solid. Lord Pispy's got to make it through here. Big hits by the Dragon Sword. Rock Solid lights his air orb. All right, Lord Fizzlebeef, it's your turn. Ooh, this might work perfectly. Rock Solid thing's gonna grind this. The T-Rex is get the thief upgraded, so perfect timing. Looks like we're doing lit two. No, we're doing zap strats. Old comes out, the thief is stunned. The X for hits. Zap's Land. got... I don't know what uh, Zap's chance to hit with X for, though, but... Not but, a clue. but the advantage is lit three is no longer resisted. Lit three now will do normal damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as Crab Cakes point out, it's three and two fifty. I was gonna say I was kind of surprised by the Exfer. I thought maybe it was with the Zap, but I think it was more or less just to help the lightning damage. The more fades, more lit three. Ooh, look at that big hit by Fade. So looking a whole lot better for Lord Fizzlebeef, these extra levels have been huge for him. Unfortunately, hold lands on Nuke. Lit 3 doesn't matter. Exfer is the way to go. Lord Fizzlebeef finish off team at lights his first orb. Both runners make a very a gutsy play, I guess. A gutsy? Yeah, we'll go with gutsy. I think it was. Given that, you know, our party didn't have a ton of resources, they their levels were kind of low. We'll, we'll give it to them. We'll say it was gutsy. Good job, guys. I like it. And this is... Look how many cabins Rock Solid has. He can just sit here and just grind and grind and grind and grind. I'm not gonna lie. I like the... Where it, the black mage there is in the front, it just looks like it's running back and like when it's going back and forth, it kind of looks like it's dancing. <laughs> Rock solid's dancing. We're grinding on T Rexes. Um, that's a very good point. Crab Cakes has pointed out, and I just wanted to point out for everybody else that's in chat. We saw Cheesinator. We saw Malakuth. We've seen um. 
cloudy one and stuff like that. Bill Collins, thanks for a lot for joining us in chat and, and contributing. I'm sorry that we haven't, you know, maybe acknowledged a lot of your stuff, but you guys have been awesome. Uh, so we're at five hits on Rock Solid's beef already. We're going to miss out on casts with our ninja. What could we possibly have that it's going to be on a thief we're going to absolutely need? Fast well, we and temper, maybe? Possibly. That's going to say, we don't know. Like, we know what one and two are. We have no clue what level three and four are because Elfland has been floater locked. So yeah. he could be missing out on something really important that he might want on that thief. It, it'll be interesting because he... Cause so for everybody out there, he could technically make the trip down, promote, then do this grind and come back and do it. Mm -hmm. Then he gets all those charges instead of doing it as a thief. And he's in the area then, and then he can go to Onrak. You know, he, he could just do it all in one go. Because he knows Onrak's here. So how... So we have the Light Axe plus three that the ninja can use. I think that is the better weapon to use with the ninja, because it's plus three. Yeah, so we've got that. We had... At least I know we had the Ice Sword too, and I'm honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure between the legs, the dragon, or the ice, which is better. I know he put the dragon sword is what's on that ninja currently. I mean, I, I would definitely use the dragon sword if you're up against a Tiamat too. Yeah. Yep. But, I mean, the, the light axe has got the katana damage. You know, if it rolls neutral. Plus... Three, so it's pretty high. So Lord Pizzle is gonna do the cardio check. I think it's kind of important here because we don't have a weapon. Like I said, we can use stuff, um, but without without knowing where Fade and Temper is, it's really hard to just use anything that doesn't have high crit. I mean one advantage though for Lord Fizzle Beef is he's promoted. Those black mages can now learn nuke. We have that non-elemental high damaging spell that's available. We can nuke Lich, we can nuke Carry. Um, you know, and, and, and Kraken too. Also, any of these fights like Monster to Box fights that he's taking now that give him experience and helps with his levels, he's now gaining charges on that ninja for any magic he may find that he wants on it. Oh, Hey, that's a sword we can use. <laughs> Not the sword we really wanted, but we'll take it. Nope. So a Vorpal, I think that was plus two. Uh, was it plus? I thought it was minus. If it's plus, it's better than what I thought. Oh, nope, nope, that's a minus. Okay, that's not... That's, that's definitely not what we were hoping for. But... We can make that work if we... I mean, we've got a bonk. We find temper and fast. It's not great, but we can make it work. Now, one thing, <laughs> very important here, Cheese Nader bringing it out, and I just realized it too once Cheese Nader mentioned it, is since he grinded that thief so high, he should have really have swapped that thief into the front row, because that's where your morale check is done. Yeah. To do right. that, you just scare the things away. There's the ox sail that we thought was going to be there. We are in go mode. Rock Solid is, has a very high level thief. Knows where the grind is for T-Rexes. Looking very solid. Lord Fizzlebeef has done a walking grind. He's looking solid too. But once again, the thief has no... No vitality. No HP. HP growth is even worse than what it was in the vanilla game. Fire 3 warp, so we're looking pretty good here. It could either be Lefane level 8 
or Gaia level 8, or it's an Elflin. Or Fast and Temper. Hopefully, uh, Temper is level 3, Fast is level 4. Hopefully? Uh, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. The Krellen asked in the chat, what weapon is Rock swinging? He is swinging the Dragon Sword. He's going to do the Cardia check. Makes sense. There's Elflin and... Oh. Okay, we haven't found Faster Temper. <laughs> they could have both be level 4. Well, if that's the case, good thing we got through Black Caster. Black Magic Casters. <laughs> because anytime you see those on the same level, it, it feels not good. It really doesn't. Because Temper needs to be casted generally multiple times, which goes through your spell charges really quickly. I'm on level 4. Hey, Invis 2. Those are... Guild 3 and Invis 2 are kind of important. Oh, it's level 8. No! They're both! Okay, well, we've got Saber. That's good. Yep. But, who? So, big find for Lord... I mean, kind of important here for Lord Fizzlebeef because he hasn't grinded yet, essentially. I don't think he's going to grind, but he might. But Rock Solid kind of did a big grind. Solo Thief is going to miss out on those charges of Saber. Now, we do have the Power Bonk. We do have the power bonk. It just feels bad to have to spend a turn to power bonk. A little bit. Although, to be honest, like, I, I, Fizzle's gonna need levels on this party, and I think he knows that, so he hasn't took a grind yet, but I'm sure he's, I, I, I hope he's going to plan on one, because this party feels real squishy. Now, <laughs> granted, as a party, the whole party, his levels are better, but, Roxal definitely has a bit of an advantage that his his thief already has quite a few levels on it. Ah, uh, going back for it. <laughs> hey, at least he remembered where the power bonk was and to, and to uh -huh. go grab it. He's, I mean, he's got to pick up Nuke, too. Yeah, that makes sense. He's going to check this. He's doing the last few checks. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they do a... Like a Volcano Armory. Maybe a couple checks in Agma as they're going down. The, the Sea Shrine is going to have the Crystal, which leads into White Shirt. Yep. Um, so the White Shirt... Kind of important, too. <laughs> Although Invis 2 was level, or tier 4, so it's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the one black mage didn't have charges of the, uh, the warp, oh. so he has to walk out. <laughs> so, here's the grind that, okay. that we're talking about. Lord Fizzleby is going to do Marsh, which leads to the Eye, which is in the Wizard in center, or the Wizard tile. Uh, it's not as good of a grind compared to the T-Rex, because he's also got to walk out. But, I mean, you're in a location where enemies are going to run from you anyway, so it'll be fine. Oh, Lord Fizzlebeef. We're looking. We're, We're looking yeah. at the clouds. Dexter okay, Spike well, Tile. We mm -hmm. Yep. Cheeky, cheeky play. Pick it up, Nuke. <laughs> PX Caliper. Fizzle, please just use the, the Black Mage as your main damage dealer. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> oh, 
Well, solid checking the armory here. Just finding an opal bracelet. It's a nice one, but it's still really good. Um. Oh. That's a real nice find on Rockside. We found the defense sword in the armory. That that could be really big. Defense definitely I mean very good for Rockside. Oh, hello. End game. Oh we good? <laughs> Armory, where have you been all our life? All right, time to leave, Rock Salad. We gotta go fast. That was insanely right. good. So, Masa. Um, I don't know what level that ninja is, but with the plus three, we might be at seven hits already. Ninja is 32 something. Oh, oh it, it, I've got some chat saying it's 38. So I saw him get to at least 32. So yeah, that that ninja's got levels for days. That is seven hits on the on on that ninja, and uh, I think a couple more levels. I think about 41. He'll have eight hits. <laughs> right, we're still opening boxes. Are we looking for maybe another ribbon? I would think so. Because we definitely don't need a sword anymore. Holy moly. I mean, yeah, we've got seven hit Masa, almost eight hit Masa. I mean, we don't have fast. We know it's level eight. Which feels bad, but I mean, with that... Yeah, we only need fast. We don't technically need temper anymore. I mean, we have nuke. First three fiends will probably just die from nuke, nuke, you know, hack. Rock Solid made his way to carry one, about to take on this fight. Fizzle's showing all this stuff to the side, like, hey, look at all look at all my shiny weapons. Trying to get that eye to punch out a couple party members. We're getting there. Not quickly, but we're getting there. Wrong one eye. He wants you to hit the two in the front. And with that, there was a carry one. And now there's no longer a carry one. I mean, so it's it's interesting because we have a ribbon, we have a wall that's level, or tier 1 magic. I mean, I guess it, the one thing is, is how confident are you? Rock Solid is a newer runner. I say newer, but, you know, confidence level going into it with a ribbon, a thief with barely over 400 HP. Black mages that gain an MDEF of 1 per level. I mean, essentially, I think, honestly, you go back to the T-Rexes, you get that white mage above 400 HP, you put the two black mages up front, you know, against Kraken, the TM at 2, Chaos, just have both of them cast uh, fast on your ninja, or something like that, and just go to town. I don't know. Now we've got we've got everybody down on Fizzle's side, so we can take that grind out on this on his knight like he was wanting to. Unfortunately, this is going to be much longer for him to get the levels that you know Rock Solid got on his on his ninja that's now a knight because he found that that pretty blue dinosaur in the Mirage de Desert. But it's still a decent grind. Like we're getting there. This eye isn't doing much. We're we're one rounding the fights here, so. It's gonna take us a little while, but we're getting there. Oh, I mean, the eye grind is still really good. He's getting six and a half, you know, 6.5 thousand experience for a one round encounter. And you have literally no chance of death, right? 
The only problem with the eye grind, as you saw, is the eye typically doesn't kill off your other units quickly. So if you can't kill off your units quickly enough, the eye just takes forever. Yeah, which is kind of what we saw with that fight. It took a, a, quite a few rounds for Fizzle to get the rest of his party members down. So Danny, if you're rock solid, are you checking? I mean, as it's been pointed out, Crab Cake said, yeah, you know, you want to check some boxes, which I totally understand, because we kind of need armor still. The ninja doesn't have really a chest armor. Uh, mm -hmm. We do have an iron plus one, which, you know, we've seen it work on fighters and knights, but, you know, the knight has more armor. And uh, a black mage with... How did that black mage survive a bane? And there's the death. So, Sea Shrine oh provides. Sea Shrine has what was it? Pain and suffering. Um. Has Bane and it has Zap. Was it that we found too? The seafood party plan or the party platter? Mm -hmm. That was that was horrible. Uh. Oh wow. Yes, but uh. Crabcake's asking, Bane from Sea Trolls, yes, but um, either the Sea Snakes or Lobsters have something also. I don't remember what it was. We'd seen it earlier. At the end, they hit real hard. Like... Yeah, I think it was the Sea oh, Snakes that, 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 that had something. Time, they, they dropped Rock Solid's party with a quickness. Like... And if I was him, this would have me very worried about Topher. I mean, because if I'm like, my party's just getting wiped out and I'm not getting through C. Like, if this go, that's got to feel really bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, there's just nothing you can. I mean, it feels awful. <laughs> you know, how well do I feel prepared for a long dive in Temple of Fiends, you know? And I believe it was Fizzle that saw a bit of what we were talking about out of that same encounter earlier in the game. So if that's the case, he might have a better idea of what we're like, if, what to expect when he gets the Sea Shrine. Right now, he's got no cares in the world. He's just going to sit here and kill eyes for a little while. Long. I mean, we're 39. We're good. We're, I mean, I'm curious as to where we're gonna stop with this, but at this point, it's like 42, like maybe, like I'm not sure. It's all he has on what he has on that ninja right now is an ice plus two sword. Like on Rock Solid Party, we have the defense, we have that mods of plus three. Bizzle doesn't have that, and unless he plans on checking boxes when he goes into volcano, he's not gonna find it. So he he's working on the I need this ninja to survive, and I need it to be able to take out fiends with an ice two sword. I mean, that Ice 2 has seven hits right now. Mm -hmm. So, at, at level 40, that that ninja has seven hits on an Ice Sword. Uh, like I said, if he picks up that Masa, I believe it's 41 or 42, he'll have eight hits, which is going to be crazy. So, sea Snakes with Trance, that's what it was. So trance is non-elemental. That goes against your M def. Oh, by the way, our black mages don't have M def. Somehow they, sure they. Somehow they don't. Okay, you know it's fine. I was gonna say. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, is it gonna prove me wrong again? It, it has been a bit of a theme in this scene. You say something, and then the, just the game goes, Nah, we're gonna mess with thing. I, I know, right? <laughs> All right. So here's the level seven check. We know that's not there, so it's level 8. It's either going to be Lafayne or Gaia. Even if you've already done the mental math and you know where it's at, just walking in and finding it there feels horrible. 
Your four is level eight also. There it is. We just stare at it for a minute because we're sad. The fast is in the other location in Lafayne. Mm -hmm. But Masa does very quick work of cracking one. Rock Solid lights his third orb as soon as he makes his way to the altar. And puts himself in a very good situation where he's just got to do the Earth Orb. It's going to be pretty easy. The ninja up front is going to make all the enemies run away. Lord Fizzlebeast's got a little bit of work to do. Now, I think Lord Fizzlebeast's uh, supporting cast is a little bit better off. Levels 1. Like level 21 on the White Mage for Rock Solid. Lord Fizzlebeast, I haven't seen what level it is. Not higher than uh, 400 HP, though. So we are in nuke range. Ooh, I like this check here. Come on. Give him something good. Oh, it pays off the katana! Are you me, game? Alright, now, like, if Fizzle does this check, now, I, I, I don't think Fizzle's gonna, but, like, that could bail him out of an armory check. So, yeah, we're not doing it. So, if Rock Solid pays attention to weapon breakpoints, the Katana's probably the better option with the plus 40 strength. It's got way better crit, and we have the same amount of hits. But Masa is plus 3, right? So, you know what? Masa works. Can't hate it whatsoever, but. We can move the Masa to the White Mage then. The White Mage becomes yeah. a White Samurai. And now we have a backup plan. Yeah, because that White Mage or that um, White Wizard does have Ruse at level 2. Yes. And that, that's our life caster. So putting that Katana on the Ninja with the Bane Sword, that Masa on the White Mage who has Ruse, doesn't sound like the worst idea. Yeah, I think that's a very good plan. Yeah. I mean, especially when you get to maybe carry, you know, you might do it. No, no, not... not definitely Kraken. Kraken I would switch over for sure. Just because carry generally low, uh, has low enough armor that you should be able to punch through, especially with a Masa plus three. You know, it shouldn't be an issue. We got nukes and stuff like that. You switch it over, you have a last resort. I mean, you could essentially just have your white mage sit there and cast ruse and not do anything, and then just go nuke, or swing nuke nuke. And just, if anything goes wrong, our white samurai is ready to go. But Lord Fizzlebeast, left hand side, blink, mix it, Lich is down, lights a second orb, so we got ourselves a battle of speed here. Speed running, that is. <laughs> it's definitely been an hour and 30 minutes, hasn't it, Danny? <laughs> yeah, just about. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're, we're buying fast. Oh. I mean, yeah, I think at this point, Fizzle knows like he hasn't picked up it's one of the like the katana or the maza that you know Rock Solid here has so. He knows with what he has that he needs it. All right, here we go. This is the big tell here. Lord Fizzlebeef needs to do armory, or is he going to hang out? Nope, he's got ice sword. He's happy. He's got seven hits. Oh, I don't blame him, okay? I don't blame it. Seven hits on an ice sword. Okay, we can make it work. So I don't blame him necessarily either. That doesn't mean I still wish he would. That's wish he had. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh for sure. I mean, he knows he's on a time clock. He's already played one match against Rock Solid. You know, he's up one nothing. You know, let's try and end it. And then, you know, I'll be ready for whoever wins between the Caleb and Demon Frog match matchup. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he needs to go for it here. Now, Rock Solid's yeah, this... trying to push for that game three here. For everybody that doesn't know, those orbs on the top that's right underneath their names, it is a best of three. Where Fizzlebeef has that one 
Uh, game advantage. Rock solid section takes a little gas. Gonna try and validate. The validation's got a monster in the box. <laughs> Has to settle for a cabin. CC in chat. Validation denied. <laughs> Like, that thing honestly kind of makes it feel like if you had fought the monster in the box and got the checks, it's like extra validation. Like, you really earned that one. I mean, yeah. Here. Yeah, I don't blame you for not running, because right now you're in Topher and you don't want to take a fight you don't need, but... So... It's a visit with his third orb lit. He just has to go down. Take on Kraken. Hopefully... I'm gonna try the. We saw Rock Solid have a rough go in here because boy, are the seafood angry today. Uh, question chat did uh, left the front bumper bypass the Masa? Yes. Went right through. He's gonna use the ice sword. He's confident with it. Um, so, kind of talking in chat. I know I brought it up several times and I keep bringing rehashing things, but Rock Solid's gonna pull Lich here. Swirl. Tornado. Nuclear. With those black mages MDEF of one per level, those things are almost guaranteed to crit or hit heavy every single time. We have nothing to stop them. Yeah. Uh, Rock Solid, we have cake. Right? Or, or Masa. Or Masa. <laughs> I mean, that works too. But you know, cake would have yeah. worked a whole lot I mean better. It'll get the job done, but... Yep, we're, we're gonna need somebody in this party to run from him. There it is, he switched it. Right. Oh no, he put the defense right sword on the, the white maid. Is that what it was? Wait. I'm not entirely sure. I was watching to see if those lobsters were gonna take out Fizzle's <laughs> But Fire 3 is going to do big damage. We have no resistances. There it is. Hits very hard on those Black Mages. Ball comes out late. Okay, I think we had a Ice Shield on. We're going to cast Nuke. The Katana is going to do 7 hits, 455. Two rounds to carry with really no, no other spells. So Katana plus 2 doing amazing work here. Lord Fizzle Beast almost going to be entering in Temple of Fiends here, but Rock Solid's going to be taking on Kraken 2, the older older brother? Older octopus of Kraken 1. I don't know how to say that. That, that didn't work very well, Danny. But, oh! I, I, I looked away for like a second and we were, we were down a red mage. Oh! That Kraken hits hard. Okay, but the ice, the ice dude's doing okay. So we're we're nuking. Nuke the nukes are nuking, and it works. And we've got we've got our fourth orb lit on Lord Fizzlebeef's side. Ooh. Rub comes out by Kraken two, gives us a free turn. Thank you very much. We will take it. Nuke comes out. What else we got? I mean, you might you can cast lit three if you want. It's not great. Okay, we're gonna cast. I like it. Katana Swing, 3 hits, 343, so pretty evasive Kraken 2 here. Gonna give a little bit of problems for Rock Solid here. Gonna slow him up a bit. Is Kraken gonna punch? No, Stun comes out. That's gonna paralyze that top Black Mage. That's not an issue. Power Word Stun comes out. Katana Swing, 4 hits, 676. Couple crits later. Bye-bye, Kraken 2. Two floors remain for Rock Solid. Lord... Fizzle Beef is entering Temple of Fiends. A wipe here evens it out. We've got ourselves a race. If yeah, not, Fizzle entering, yeah, Fizzle entering just shy of six minutes after Rock Saw. Oh, we're not doing a to we're not we're not doing a dive. I think we're doing a grind here. Here's the switch. Here is this is Rock Solid's um, match essentially. Here we got to get through these two. Walls coming out. 
gotta hit it before Tiamat goes first. Tiamat swings, 202 damage. That's a pretty weak hitting Tiamat. We take those. Nuke comes out. Nuke. What are we doing here? Fade? We're gonna heal strats. That ninja is in nuclear range and nuke range. Seven hits, so everything hit, but we did not crit. There's the nuke! And it crits everybody! We have Fade and a chance. I don't think he equipped the Masa on the White Mage. White Mage doesn't have Cure 4 because that was level 8. A big Fade charge. Another big fade charge. Another crit by the fade for 246. We're at 3 HP. Will this will this kill it? 140. No, it's still up. Oh. And we are out of fade. Do you have the Masa? No, he no. didn't equip the Masa. No, the only thing we've got right now is that Zeus Gauntlet on that white mage. Zeus Gauntlet comes out. Lit 2 comes out to finish it. Rock Solid takes the wipe. Gives Lord Fizzle Beef. A chance. Lord Pistol Beef is grinding though, not happy with his levels. Trying to get some more fast charges on those black mages. There's the exit. Lord Pistol Beef is coming back. Oh, we got our we got ourselves a run here. We got ourselves a race. Danny, I'm excited. This is this makes me nervous. I'm not even racing and this makes me nervous. Although, what Fizzle doesn't know, that Rock Solid knows now knows, like, that that grind on that floor getting all those extra levels on the breast of Fizzle's party might be what gets him through this. I, I, I mean, it would have, but Rock Solid remembers to put the, um... Oh, wait, Rock Solid doesn't have Ruse on the White Mage. I don't remember seeing it. Because he never casted it. Me? I mean, if he had the Masa on that, on that thing, you know, you, you go through with the Masa plus three, you know, you might have gotten through that. Might have. I say might have, but I mean, it, it was bad turn order anyways. Mm -hmm. But I mean, no cure four available. The white mage isn't high enough. Isn't level twenty five. We never bought cure four, so we couldn't have really saved ourselves there. Yeah, I, th I mean, I don't know. It definitely would have been an interesting play because the Zeus Gauntlet did go off, so we don't know what Tiamat's HP was at. Yeah, and with Fizzy taking the, that, that bit of a grind and Rock Solid wiping, we're practically in the same place. This is just getting a lot of encounters here. He's, he's hit the ugly spot in the encounter table, which is slowing him up a little, but he's not far behind Rock Solid. Oh no. Yeah, it, yeah he's, he's right there. I mean, this is going to be a very... He'll definitely... I think... Fiz oh, sorry. It's because I think the, Fizzle, the thing we're going to see with Fizzle's party is with Rock Solid having the much better weapons, like, Fizzle's fights are going to take him a lot longer to get through than Rock Solid's fights are. So it looks like Lich is on a punching script. I haven't seen Lich cast anything, so this is good news. At least if we have multiple wipes, we don't have to really worry about it. Bad news is, that means a lot of spells and skills are on other enemies. And Rock Solid's contemplating. We got a Nuke coming out, a Lock coming out. Moss is gonna hit for 423, that's big damage. Fire 3 is gonna hurt, because our Black Mages have nothing. Fizzle Beef is going nuke, nuke, and a sword swing by that ice sword. Just 5 hits, 225. Drastically different damages by the ninjas, by both by both runners. But one of them went nuke strats, the other one kind of relied upon the Masa. Nuke, this should be the end of carry. There it is. Yep. Lord Fizzle Beef's gonna enter in the sea floor also. Alright. Kraken. So we need turn one rub. 
for both runners. Turn one rub is like the best, most generous thing this Kraken can do. Because we have pro rings, we have the resistance to death, and it means that Kraken's not punching, Kraken's not casting anything non-elemental. Alright. I don't know what that is. Kraken 2's not known for being friendly. Uh, I mean, we're hoping here. So, looks like we're saving Newcast again. Interesting call. There's the rub. So, first turn, successful. There's a power gauntlet that ninjas up front for Lord Fizzlebeef. Maybe accidental? But Invis 2 comes out. Razor Invasion. Oof. No, oh, there goes the white base for Rock Solid gets back road. So, wow. Nice big neutral on Lord Fizzlebee's side. Tier 4 comes out to keep the ninja alive. Right hand side, it, the Masa does great damage, gets through it. Both runners get through it at the same time. Rock Solid's down a white mage. Lord Fizzlebeef has a full party looking a lot better. Mm-hmm. Rock Solid cool. does have a the, the defense sword. So if these black mages can survive, we're okay. But Wall's gonna come out on Lord Fizzlebeef's side. Paralyzing touch on Tiamat 2. Oh no. Big punch on Quad X on Rock Solid side. Swing. 12 hits, 457. Nuke comes out left hand side, doesn't take out anybody. Or Pistol Beef looking pretty good after that nuke. Nuke by Rock Solid, 162. Tiamat's gonna punch out his ninja. He's gotta oh, force no. the reset out. Second time, forced to reset out. The Ice Sword, plus two, doing extremely good work with 12 hits. Lord Fizzlebeef is through! The White Mage has survived, we're able to life 2 back up. Fast, very helpful. The support cast having a little bit more HP definitely helps. That and like he had he had those cure 4 charges on that White Mage which helped in his Kraken 2 fight, keep that ninja upright. Like the extra levels on the supporting cast on Fizzle's side have been incredibly helpful this run. All right, Lord Fizzlebeef, getting himself ready, trying to win this in two games, to move on, to take on the winner of the Caleb vs. Demon Frog matchup, to move into the best of eight, or the top eight. We're going to power bonk. We are going to wall up the White Wizard to try and be able to cast here four. There's the fast, great turn order. Chaos tries to take out the White Wizard, says, how dare you cast wall? We're gonna cast lock. We're gonna cast probably more lock. Makes sense. And an invis two, maybe? Oh, no. Oh, big swing by chaos there. We're in nuke range on both our ninja and white mage here. I like the heal three. The preemptive heal three was very cr crucial by Lord Fizzle before in better shape here. All right, we're gonna see what this ice sword does. We have been fasted. We've power bonked a couple times. Heal three, getting us in good, good, safe range here. We're at 350 HP on the ninja. 12 hits for 355. All right, what do we do? More power bonks? Nope. We're gonna start swinging anyways. Cast that expert. Expert Brack Struts. I like it. 12 hits for 512. Oh, new comes out. Oh, we're at 68 HP. Oh boy. Okay, we need that cure four. Good thing we saved hey, it. We, we saved it. Turn order. Stab stabs. 11 hits for 216. White mage pays for its cure four sins. Gun comes out, misses. We're in punch punch versus punch here. Oh, uh, we got a ways to go here, folks. Oh, that was big. We're almost in the vanilla range. 
Oh, one more. No! Cure 4 comes out by chaos. The fight resets. 600 damage. We're gonna power bonk. We're gonna reset. Big punch by chaos. Crits. 13. For, okay, we've done about 13, but fire 2 finishes off Lord Fizzlebeef. Oh, man. Cure 4, are you kidding? And while that was all going on, Rock Solid on the right hand side is back on Kraken 2's floor. That is not an easy chaos at all. It punches hard. It has Cure 4. It has a nuke. And we haven't even seen any of the s s skills it has. And the, and the sad thing is, like, given what had gone on, it would seem to be going well. And then Cure 4. Why chaos? Why? All right, we're gonna you, we're gonna why lock. You gotta be that <laughs> why you gotta do that? Cat. So Rock Solid's Kraken first turn every single time so far has casted Rub. This is great first turn. So we're gonna cast nukes. We're gonna start attacking. Here we go. I really wish Rock Solid would have gotten Ruse for that White Wizard. Really wish he would have picked up Ruse for that white wizard. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, the white wizard doesn't... I mean, it has a job, right? But mm -hmm. when you've already taken on Kraken twice, and he hasn't really casted anything that's like... Put yourself in danger. Just try and keep your white wizard alive. I mean, I know Ruse isn't going to save it, probably. But you never know. There's a chance he could evade all of Kraken's attacks. He might. All right, we need Tiamat to be generous here. What was that you said? It's fine. It's not terrible. Okay, this is oh. bad. This is a very cast happy a Tiamat here. I mean, we wanted a cast happy, but. 95 nuke might kill it. Oh, it didn't crit high enough. I mean, that black mage was gonna be kind of useful, useless after that. Okay. <laughs> Crab cake says, "How did that black mage resist the nuke?" We don't know. All right. That is a good question that we don't have answers to. All right. So let's get the ribbon. Okay. We need it to defense, we need a power bonk, and we need to get into an RNG loop ASAP. Now I say that knowing that we gotta get away from airs first. I hear you say that and know that that's probably not gonna happen now because you did. That's how this seed has worked. Dang says something and then the seed says nope. So he's gonna go with the katana. I kinda like it. Oh, he's gonna keep it in the we, first slot. Oh, I was about to say, did we move? We did not. Ooh, that defense, that that turn order and defense put us in a great spot. Now, nuke is coming. I believe it's the next spell. Oh, there it is. There's the stun. The ribbon protects us from the status element. There's the punch. Okay, now we're swinging. Four hits 1100. Oh my goodness. Bane comes out and misses. Katana's doing work. We've done 1600 damage here. Rock Solid's gonna hit for another. We've done 2000. Another cure four once we hit the 2000 threshold. 382's went out. It's fine. Let's go start over. It's fine. That is okay. about 1000 damage from Rock Solid. Left hand side, Lord Fist Beef is on carry two. Now we've done about 1400 for Rock Solid. 1800. Chaos is just swinging and no, God, no. Oh. oh my goodness! A crit through full evasion. Rock solid has been forced to return or retreat, and now Lord Fizzle Beef. Hey, look. One of them wipes, the other one's on Kraken 2's floor. Alright, Lord Fizzle Beef. They're, they're taking turns to spread out the pain and suffering. Oh my goodness, that... 
I mean, <sighs> that katana was doing amazing work, and then it kind of just tapered off there at the end. Very unfortunate there, but... Ooh, that 1100 damage, I was like, ooh, Rock Solid's got a chance here. Huh? It sure seemed like it. So, Fade, there's an Ice Sword, 5 hits for 204. That's a Sleep Touch Kraken 2, by the way. Oh, that's exciting. Fade comes out. There it is, down by Kraken 2. Only a Black Mage down. Not bad. <laughs> so, Danny. You're in this position! Both runners uh -huh. have wiped, what? Twice? Once? Oh, yeah, hang on. I, I, um, I mean, how are you looking yeah. at this right now? I mean, you gotta be like... The pressure, the anxiety, the, you know, like, what is going on with, you know, my opponent right now? Why have they not done? Well, I mean, they do know what the other person's seen, so I'd say they, at least now they know why the other one hasn't, but at this point, it's oh. just... Oh, dear. That was Play. a high nuke roll on that white mage. We're down to 21 H. No, the lit two! Survive! No! No! It fell to death by lit two. Oh. oh. Game, please. <laughs> Game, please. Rock Solid got wiped out, had to reset out. I don't know if he's trying to gain levels, but both of our runners now are about two floors from each other. We're going through again. Rock Solid's White Mage doesn't have the levels. It's a little bit lower. Now, the only thing it's going to save here, because Rock Solid's been having awful luck against the Kraken 2, it's been rub into Let's Punch the White Wizard. Lord Fizzlebeef, on the other hand, has been getting nuked into a lit 2, or, you know, the bad and nuke rolls, and killing his white ma his white wizard. Yeah, because that lit 2, I mean, with the ribbon on, that had to have been a max roll with the resistances, I believe, that it hit. But so Lord, F yeah. I mean, I, when I saw that he had switched the party around, I'm like we're 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 going for more levels because clearly he's this this tofer. Oh boy! You know, I mean, would you be able to have the confidence, the um, how do I say this? To at two hours in, the grind levels in Temple of Fiends Revisited. Knowing where you're at, and your your opponent hasn't not done yet. Would you be able to if do this? I, if I hadn't finished yet, and my opponent hadn't finished, I figure that they're seeing the same things I'm seeing, and they're also wiping to it. And I've tried this multiple times now, and my levels, and I'm not getting through. He did not see, like, the... the T-Rex in the desert, and he, I mean, he saw the eye, but that's not a good party grind. If I thought levels were going to be the solution to my problem here, then yeah, take the levels here, I'll take these fights, exit out, save, go back in. It doesn't feel great this, like, almost two hours in to have to do this, but this could be, you know, those levels getting him through these fights. I mean, it's not a whole lot else you can do. There's the nuclear. Carrie has nuclear that's been hiding in the chamber. Finally gets to see it. So we found two nukes, we found a nuclear. We have Cure 4 that's been spotted, obviously that has given both of our runners, well, the worst time whatsoever. Both runners have essentially died because of Cure 4. And Rock Solid here continues to dive, has gone into, or is in the sea floor, trancing sharks. That's not good. Um, but the big thing to kind of go with, you know, what you were saying, you know, gaining levels and being able to, and even Crab Cakes has mentioned, you know, or has mentioned that, you know, it, at this point might, might be the best time to grind levels. Roxout still doesn't have Ruse on that White Mage. 
I mean, I don't yeah, think I don't think the damage that Kraken's doing to it is going to save it much, but the yeah. RNG might be in your favor where you evade a whole lot of attacks. Yeah, and we de I definitely don't think we've seen the last of Fizzle's grind because he he exited out, went and bought houses, and then dove back in with two black dead black mages. So we're going for more levels. <laughs> All right. Like he wants to make sure he gets through this, like, one-shots this next time. Oh, for sure. Yeah, he he knows he's on a timetable. Okay. We're in trouble here. We didn't go nuke strats right away. Both of our black mages are gone down. We need turn order. That monster needs to hit hard. Done it. We're through Kraken. White mage is alive. We can bring up our black mages. All right. Good turn order. Bad RNG because Kraken never casted rub. That's, that is the free turn that Kraken allows us. Gersharks to slow us up. Our MDef is terrible. And now we're stunned. Good news is hopefully there's no more trancing. Can Quad X get us out of here and save us? Quad X save us. That white mage is a sitting duck. Oh, they got stare. Non-elementals. <laughs> Come on, Quadex. Get a... Oh, silence touch. And it's gonna hit all the black mages. And please don't hit the exit. <laughs> I don't know about you, Danny, but I saw him go in for the heal three. I'm like, please don't hit exit. I've gone to use heal three before and accidentally exited right before taking out a boss on a fight. It feels real bad. <laughs> do, do not recommend. Yeah, I, I do like this grind here by Lord Fizz Beef. Getting that ninja, getting that white mage up. Obviously, those are your two important uh, the people for this. That's a level 47 ninja. Uh huh. <laughs> Told you, he doesn't want to have to do this more than once. So, Tiamat's coming up. Tiamat 2's coming up. We know he has nuke right away. I honestly think... You hope for turn order. And what I mean by that is, is... Tia nukes, your white mage heal threes. I think is your best bet? I mean, probably, but this time around, like, Tia 2's probably just gonna be punch happy and take out the white mage in the first turn. Oh, for sure. Because that's what this game does. I, I, I was going to say. Oh, oh, you moved it? Oh, but, but funny. All right, we're going to go with the fade. New comes out. Bad turn order. Takes out everybody. I rolls 398 on the white mage. Well, that was some new rolls. Holy moly. Rub comes out. Okay, we have no defense. Okay, this is a paralyzing touch at Tiamat. We need turn order. Oh, my goodness. That thunder. Oh, what a big hit by the Masa for 1339. Keeps Rock Solid alive. We have 20 heal potions. Now Ooh, the two HP. N. Oh. We resisted just enough. And it's the Vampire Pack to waste heal potions. I think we have enough to max out still. Just enough. Move the ribbon. All right. Uh, e equip the power gauntlet. Equip the power gauntlet. All right, well, I mean, that would have just saved him a little bit. Okay, good turn. We got the first turn. Ice 2 comes out. Okay. We know Nuke's coming out next. Ooh, good, good. 137. This is a lot better of a... Uh, an RNG here for Rock Solid. Waits for the nuke. We're able to get off. Not take any damage from the punches before the nuke. That is three power bonks. Maybe one more. We're doing Masa. I don't think he changed over to the katana. So we're going to rely upon Masa here. Tier 4 comes out. I'm waiting on that tier 4 before swinging. Yep. Big swing. Two hits for 202. Oh. Oh no. Four hits for 767. We've done about 1,000 damage. 1,600. 
2300, 2400. This has got to be it. No, it's not. We got one more turn, but Chaos is still punching only. There it is. Rock Solid is going to force Game 3. The rubber match. <laughs> What? I heard uh, a noise. I was about to say, I think we might have said Rock Solid in the booth with us. Yeah, um, I'm still Hi. here. Hi. After two Gigi. hours. I got another two hour seat. Yeah. That, that, that Topher was real unkind. Yeah, you can say that again. I thought I had, I thought I had grinded my teeth enough on that blue steak that Topher was not going to be an issue, but I got some, I'm going to say bad luck, uh, cracking back road my white mage two times in a row, um, and a few other things happened. The, the good luck I got, though, is I never saw sea trolls um, baiting everybody. I was so worried that that was going to happen ever since C, I was thinking that's going to be a nightmare when I get back to Topher, but uh, it never was an issue. Grinding. He didn't go all the way to 50. He's almost. Yep, we, we went to level 50. Like I said, we were not doing this again. We wanted to do this once to be one and done after. We'll just say a good a good few wipes. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, like the last the last little bit of this race has been watching you guys take turns and who's in the lead in Topher. Just felt kind of bad. Yeah, I um, coming into this race, I I thought I'd feel good about things if I could just even get into Topher before this would be finished. So when I entered and I saw that he hadn't got done, I thought a lot of the stress came off. But then it really started to come back when I got all the way past um, I think the sky, the the sea floor, and I, and he still hadn't got done. And I, and my heart was pounding because I thought, wow, I've I've got a real chance to just do it right now. Little did I know that I was up for about five more wipes. Yeah, he, um, you did enter before him, but he did his grind on his ninja on the eyes in Marsh, which was a bit slower than the one you did. So that was, I think, probably the biggest difference maker in time was just that his grind was a bit slower. Um, and then it was, it literally was, because he went into Tober just a few minutes after you, and it literally was just watching you guys take turns. On who was going to be in the lead because one you one you went in and wiped and then he was right behind you and then he wiped and then you were right behind him and then you wiped and it's just like oh my gosh this tofer it was horrible. What is he swinging? It looks like he doesn't have he's, much. He's got the ice too out of Titans. He never checked um, armory, so he doesn't have he doesn't have the mods, he doesn't have the defense, and he didn't find a katana anywhere either. Okay, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's that's got to be a definite advantage. Did he did he do sky early? You were both in sky at the same time. Okay. See, I to the I point, tried not. You to guys go sky. were yeah. You guys were on sky two at the same time, taking checking the other. One of you was on one side of the room. One of you were on the other. That you were like holding hands through it. Oh man, that's crazy. I was thinking mm -hmm. that he would have done the early sky, and floater has been in sky something like. You know, six seeds out of ten in this tournament, I feel like. And I was just taking myself because I thought, well, you know, statistically it's not supposed to be any more likely that it would be there or ordeals, so I'll do ordeals first. And, you know, it didn't work out for me. And uh, I, I thought that was going to be putting me behind when I went into Sky when I did. Mm -hmm. Now, you did things in sl a couple of things in slightly different order, but all of the things that you guys did do before going to Sky, like you both did all everything but Sky and then made it to Sky at last. Um, but another thing that I think that made that put him just a little bit behind you is once you kind of found Floater, you basically just stopped checking things in Sky and left. He found Floater first because he did left side first while you were doing right. But then he continued to just completely full clear sky. Okay, yeah, and I can understand that. It, it's tempting, especially if you don't have a weapon. I think at that point I had a dragon plus one, 
and uh, mm -hmm. something else that would have worked. Uh, you had the ice cube too to because you had gotten it out of Titans. Yeah, so I was thinking, let me just get through here. Um, maybe I'll get lucky and be able to do my grind, which happened. And then I can check the Cardia chest for free instead of risking losing. Because I was still feeling vulnerable at that stage. I didn't feel like I had a lot of spells, and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to beat the end the first time through. Yeah, it was a bit of a question from, from both of us. Like, okay, so how are we getting through this fight? Because, like you said, at that point, you know, weapons weren't super great. Magic wasn't super great. I mean, you guys had a dragon sword, which does work better on Tia um, in a power bomb, but you both got through it, which was kind of the job I was impressive because honestly, the dragon sword was dicey. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. The dragon sword was the was the thing that tipped the scales in over mm -hmm. to the shot. It was a dragon plus one. Tia mass weak to that. I've got the power gauntlets. You know, just put them in the back, bonk up, and it's only going to have something like 800 to 1,000 HP. You're going to be able to get them down unless you get really unlucky. Mm -hmm. Pistols made it all the way back through. We're on Tia 2. Unfortunately, I have to say, again. Where did um, he get fast? A level 8 Lefane. Oh, yes. I figured it was level 8. That's. Mm -hmm. I thought it was level oh, yeah. 4 on his screen there, and I was really mad because oh, no. that would have... <laughs> Kimper was level 8 in uh, in Gaia, and Fast was level 8 in Lafayne. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I, I went- the only reason I even went to the vanilla Lafayne location- Oh, he's your fizzle. Oh, he didn't finish, okay. He's, oh, no, he, he, he got through that. to YouTube. Yeah, he's going into Chaos with a bit of a full party, which is really good. He, um, I think, he, if I remember correctly, he saw Chaos, he got to Chaos the first time before you did. And it looked like he was doing alright with that Ice 2 sword, and then that's when we saw the Cure 4, and we were like, Oh boy, we might, this, this Topher. Oh. Yeah, he didn't have the Defense Sword, so he basically got punched out. Yeah, he, like, he's definitely gonna kill him. Mm -hmm. He's got fast, he's got power bomb, he's got speed and power strats on his, on his side. He needs to hope for this cure 4 to come. Oh no, Ice 2 is gonna come out first. Ice 2 and then nuke, and then there's a cure 4. So he's got time to heal that ninja. Lock comes out, temper comes out. That ninja's gonna become a powerhouse very quickly. There's a cure 4. Ninja is safe. Ice 2 comes out. We know what's coming out next. Nuke. But the white mage and the ninja are safe. Look at those levels. Beautiful levels right there. More power bonk. Invis 2 comes out. We know chaos can hit decently hard. There's the nuke we've been waiting for. Nice high roll on the white mage. Somehow the ninja absorbs it. Big swing! A thousand damage by the ninja. We know cure 4 is coming out. We have 16, 1700 damage. Oh no, stun comes out to save us! Cure 4 doesn't come out and we finish Chaos before the Cure 4. If Cure 4 came out, because that was the next spell, Lord Fizzle I would have was... cried for him. Oh, that would have been the third time Chaos would have Cure 4 when it was in the corner on uh -huh. its knees. Oh no. GG to Lord Fizzle Beef. Uh huh. We are going to a game 3, everybody. Oh yes. We sure are. And after this, if if both runners want, I promise I won't roll the seat. Ooh. That was I mean, I, I don't know, Danny. I think we need I think we need, I think we just need to roll you more. You know, roll more seats, it's fine. Well, I'm not trying to make everybody mad at me. Are you sure? Because I think you really love rolling these types of seeds. But I, I really, really don't. I promise <laughs> I don't. I, I feel real bad. Well, let's see if we get Lord Fizzlebeef in here to see okay, what's going I, I on. I think he's in here and, I, and I'm afraid to ask how it's going. Oh! Hi, Fizzle. I've been still having the boxes in the game, and I didn't get either of the katanas or the maza. Feels real good. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was sending you all the happy thoughts and vibes your way when I saw you going into volcano, and then, then, then I, and then I made a real big frowny face when you just booked it right past armor. 
Yeah, I see. I had I knew I had opened so many boxes that it's like if I continue to open boxes, I will lose because I have no idea where these katanas are. They might have rolled down. Maza might have rolled down. This might have been an ice sword seed all along. I need to just take my crap and go. Bass is level eight. Yay. Temper is level eight. Yay. Cure four is level eight. Yay. All right, let's grind this thief to stupid level. Um, I bypass checking desert because I was like, I've got this stupid eye in the stupid marsh to get my stupid levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was yep. a T Rex in the bottom left of Mirage that was available on the power cycle that uh, Rock Salad used. Um, but yeah, even with his high level ninja, I uh, can't do much when you get 3 and 256 through max evasion. You were in good shape, like, because you were the first one that went in chaos. And the cure for perfect timing messed you up. You got punched out, basically. Uh, Rock Solid does the same thing. Cure 4, as soon as he gets on the ropes at about 2200 damage done, Cure 4 pops out. He wipes from a, a crit through max evasion. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then he almost wiped again, but he managed to beat the Cure 4. Uh, or no, that was you. I'm sorry. You, were, you you managed to beat the cure four, so. Yeah, I'm the dumb dumb who did the grind to fifty. <laughs> hey, it looked good. I mean, it made sense. <laughs> like you hadn't gone through yet, and at that point, I think I would have do just because that that everything about that was real bad at the end. So yeah, everybody I, was just cranky and taking it out on all in there. I missed the defense sword, so like the solo strats were never gonna work, and that mm -hmm. white mage was awfully prone to dying, what with literally everything having nuke. So like I just I just need more cure four charges and I need a level fifty ninja. Hey we got this third floor here. Let's either this like if I do this, this next dive will work. And I just have to hope that he doesn't finish. Oh he just finished. Uh-huh. Well, that's why I was saying they were like, this was the question of like, what level do you going to? And I'm like, what? He's like, he's going to whatever level he feels is going to get him through because he doesn't want to have to do this, but one more time. It's like, we're not, we're, we're aiming for one more toe for dive. So if that's 50, that means we're going to 50. The first grind was for seven hits on an ice sword. The second grind was for 50. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I'm doing math and I'm like, and I'm watching, or, and I'm paying attention to rock solids. I'm like, okay, he's got seven hits and he goes a couple more. He's going to have eight hits on that boss. <laughs> and then I, I look over at yours and I'm like, wait, you have seven hits on an ice sword. Who yeah. does seven hits on an ice sword? Fizzle does. Someone without any buffs whatsoever. That's I know. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. It was just funny though. <laughs> Like you don't see seven hits on a on an ice sword anytime. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see it, and then Dig mentioned it, and I did kind of double take, like, wait, really? <laughs> so that made it feel a little better. Mm -hmm. I mean, still not great, especially when we knew that like Rock was had that Maza plus three, and then he found the defense, and then he found the katana, and I'm just like, guess we'll check a room. No, it's it's, it's, not it's I. I opened so I knew many you boxes. Weren't. Oh yeah, like I knew you weren't. There was no way after you full cleared sky you were gonna keep opening boxes. No way. Doesn't mean I wasn't hoping you would. Sky failed me. Why did Sky <laughs> fail me? I mean, <laughs> it really did too. There was nothing. I was like, oh, you know, because, yeah, because you because you check the top and the right hand boxes of Sky Three, rock solid bypass and, and only and only did the green. I'm like, okay, this is where Fizzle can look really good. And there was nothing. <laughs> uh, so I galaxy brained myself by leaving um, Power Gauntlet behind. Because I was just, because at that point it was just like, okay, so like, here's what's going to happen. There's, I got this stupid slab turn in and I got the stupid ice cave. And like, probably one of those is going to be Chime, but like, I got a two and three chance to get floater without going to do a stupid skydive and it'll be fine. And I don't need the stupid bonk. <laughs> and then it's just like, here's your chime, and you're whatever, and it's just like, uh, okay, so I guess I'm carrying all this magic to the end of Sky so I can electrocute a T at one after expiring it. This is the bed we made. Time to sleep in it. I mean, that I mean, that was a terror. I was kind of terrified, or I was kind of terrified, because I was like, 
because I thought you had power bonk. I'm like, okay, you can power bonk and you can just attack. Because that's what Rock Solid did. And <laughs> <laughs> although the downside was is his his uh, thief got paralyzed for like eight turns, so it did nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I was afraid that, like, the thief that I carded up there, like, a thief with a dragon sword and a bonk, that, that's a lot of rounds of buffing versus just hoping expert lands, and then I just blow it up with uh, lightning three damage and fade. I felt like magic was the better bet. You hey, got that expert off, got the lightning damage. Well played. Well played. All right, so... I mean, I hate to wrap it up, but um, we're going to try and wrap it up. Sorry, I got to wrap it up here. But uh, So we're moving on to game three. Have you guys set a time yet? Or are you guys Sunday have we talked yet? Sun yep, Sunday at nine. Yep. Yeah. Sunday at nine. So make sure to tune in for that rubber match between Lord Fizzlebeef and Rock Solid. Uh, Rock Solid, since you're the winner, why don't you give us some final thoughts here? Oh, just, um, yeah, that was uh, another two-hour Steve, but uh, the wheels of fate turned in my favor this time, and I'm going to third match against uh, a very experienced player. So I, I think I'm the definite underdog here, but I'm, I'm happy to be here, and I'm really looking forward to this race. All right, and Lord Fizzleby, your final thoughts? Uh, I did. Why did I grind to 50? Never grind to 50. Because you were hoping to have a BB. You were hoping your ninja would turn into black belt. It didn't or like happen. half a black belt. <laughs> no, that didn't happen either. If you had Masa, you would have had almost nine hits. <laughs> Alright, with that, my name is Dang Wu. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for hanging around. We got plenty more action of the 2021 Spring Final Fantasy Randomizer Spring Tournament. Chaos's comedy tour. Danny. If you, if you had fun with this, those still watching, like stick around because I'm we're gonna raid uh Randomania right now. It's game two of Gregory Puff versus Cheesinator. Ah uh, yes. So we're gonna we're gonna head over there and see how that race is going. Just started about twenty minutes or so ago. So we'll jump in over there and see how that's going. That's a very hype match, definitely. Uh mm -hmm. Wheels, why don't you take us out because, well, you're awesome. Aw, thank and, you. And I'm tossing you under the bus. <laughs> After what I rolled in that seat, I feel like I I deserve to get hit by a bus, so it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, GG to both runners to Rock Solid for pushing into game three. You both survived that, so I feel you both deserve GGs because that was horrible. Um, thanks to everybody for hanging out. RPG Limit Break for having us. Dang the woo to my wheels for helping out tonight doing the restream and co-comming with me and if you like what you saw join the discord we like having new people we actually have our duckling boot camp going on right now so if you haven't played before and want to learn to play now's the best time to do it if not you just want to hang out or come watch races you can get our handy dandy spectator tag and we'll ping every time we got a race other than that we're gonna um we're gonna raid randomania and go check out the Gregory Puff versus cheesinator match and with that we're 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 gonna head out and hope you guys have a great great rest of your night and we will see you next time <laughs>